Hi, and welcome to my channel. So today I thought I would do something different. A reaction video. Eric Baron just announced his new game called The Haunted Chocolatier. We know from a few months back that he was actually working on two new games that are somehow connected to the Stardew Valley universe. I think he said that one of those is coming very soon, which I'm guessing is this game. And it will have a very similar style and gameplay. While the other one, it should be very much different and then he would find a way to connect it to Stardew Valley. If you're new here, which I'm guessing you are because I have two subscribers, you should know that Stardew Valley is one of my all-time favorite games. I absolutely love Stardew Valley, I played it to death and the soundtrack is probably my, my favorite soundtrack in all gaming history. And it's also a game that helped me through a lot of tough times when I started playing it, so so obviously it means a lot to me. Anyway, enough talk, we should just get into it. So I don't know anything about this game other than its name and that it's made by Concerned Day. So yeah, let's just watch it. Just want to say I love this music. Oh my god. Hmm. Interesting. Lily. Burke. Sorry, I'm sweaty. And it looks like Sebastian. <laughs> the neutrality. I love this style of the logo. It's over already. Oh, cool. So let's just go back into it. I didn't want to talk during the video because I didn't want to miss anything, but so yeah, this is definitely the game he was mentioning that's very much like Stardew Valley because the assets, at least most of the assets of the of the world seem to be the same. At first I thought this was Pelican Town, but and I thought that one was Penny, <laughs> that woman there walking. And I thought this could be Kent or from the back it kinda of looked like Harvey. But it's obviously not so that's cool, it's a new place and a new town with new people which is amazing. I hope I hope the game also focuses on on being a social scene and a dating sim as Stardew Valley was, but I'm I'm sure it's gonna be right. It kinda looks it kinda looks like it. So this is kinda 
Kinda looks like it's gonna be the chocolate factory. I I kinda love the the game kinda looks pretty much pretty much the same as Stardew Valley, so there but there are some subtle differences, right? Like the movement. The movement kinda looks from the main character at least, the movement and animation kinda of, kinda of looks smoother. And there's there's a few new few new animations through the sprites, which looks pretty cool. Also we can see here that there's a there's a awesome change in the UI which is fitting right. It kinda of looks like uh, which it kinda of looks like a chocolate team UI. And it makes sense. It makes sense because the game, the game is literally the, the haunted chocolatier. And this is very interesting. Kind of looks like a Narnia style style thing, right? Because he opens the door to a looks like a magical world, which makes me wonder because I think there are mentions in Stardew Valley that that in the past. People were much more connected to the spirits, to the Gemino and the the magical aspects of the world, right? So I wonder if this actually takes place in the past, in Stardew Valley, or maybe in another place that is much more connected to the to the magical sense of the world. Which could be very interesting, but it's very interesting how this is made because we it kind of looks like we are not in the town and we are being transported to another place when he goes through the door. And we, we, can, we can also see how there's different monsters. I mean, there's the the typical slimes in the stars, right? Because every 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 adventure game, every RPG or JRPG has to have slimes. It's obligatory and I won't take it any game without any slimes. It's, it's great that they are back. But we also have which appear to be crows or, or ravens. And we can also see here that there's different items, nectar. Different monsters that <laughs> kind of disguise themselves as plants. Milk and huckleberry that mostly drops milk, which we will probably be using as he's showing here to make chocolate. Also, the building, the building uh, aspect of the game, it's very much more fluid. And <laughs> I actually just noticed this. I don't know how I didn't pay attention to this, but there are ghosts. There are ghosts helping us in the factory, which makes sense because it's the haunted chocolatier. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, actually. Oh, I just love this. I know I love this. <laughs> Concerned that it can just just take my money right now. I I don't I don't care if it go if he comes out in two or three years. I just want to pay him up, and whenever he's ready, I wanna play it. And I probably won't stop playing it until I get a hundred percent. Also, oh, there's Maddie. Let me let's see. Mm, what's it like living in the big city? Hmm. So we might have come from the big city, or do we do we move from big city to a small town through a magical world? I don't know. That's interesting. It's just great to see this. I... Hmm. Okay, so. Oh, the animations. There's, there's, there's very subtle differences in the, in the sprites, right? And the way they move and the way they, they, they position themselves. And I don't know. It kind of it looks beautiful. It's, it's simple, but it's beautiful. I don't know. I don't know why it means a lot to me. But this one, I, I, I just love the way the the logo is made, right? Ooh, this this looks great. I just it's in the element, and I guess it's probably gonna have a 
another, another uh, uh, early access, maybe, an open alpha. But yeah, as soon as I can, I'm I'm for sure gonna gonna order it. And yeah, I'm just I'm just glad, just glad. Oh, Unsurpassable Z posted a new video reacting to it. So yeah, that was the Haunted Chocolate here. It sounds amazing. I don't know what to say. Absolutely love it. Ah, I'm just so excited. And I'm glad that this came out of nowhere, right? I love when game developers do this. I don't know. I don't like it when... When they start teasing too early and and dropping images and and little teasers right here and there i love the way that eric baron is doing here because he just he just said i'm working on it it's gonna be ready when it's ready and and yeah i'm taking my time and suddenly he posts this video which we actually Two minutes and a half of gameplay, which looks great. It looks great. I love when indie indie developments do the, indie developers do this. Sorry, uh, which is something that I mean, Toby Fox did it did it recently, very much like this, right? He he stayed quiet. He stayed quiet for almost two years about Delta Room Chapter Two, and all of a sudden he said. Chapter two is coming out in a week. Enjoy. I'm just so just. I love it. Thank you very much for the surprise, Eric. And and yeah, I'm just excited to play it. Okay, so if you're still here, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. These were my first thoughts on this game. That looks great, even though we don't know pretty much anything about it. But yeah, I'm excited. Thank you very much for being here. I mean, if you want, maybe leave a, a like or or subscribe if you want. But but just don't feel forced to do it. I'm just glad you watched it. So yeah, thank you very much. And until next time. Bye. Go check out my video, please, please. Moonlight Jelly's guitar cover. Bye, bye. Thank you.